Let's meet the visiting team, Chicago Bulls. And power forward, Patrick Williams. And shooting guard, Patrick Beverly. At the other guard position, Derek Rose. At center, Joaquin Noah. At the other forward position, Zach Levine. The head coach of the visiting team, Billy Donovan. Reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. The Clippers' new arena in Inglewood is opening soon, and NBA legend Jerry West said the new home will, quote, allow a fair schedule that's not as taxing on the players. But most importantly, it's for the fans. Brian, he says it'll be amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to experience it firsthand, Allie. Thank you. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. They've got Derrick Rose. Zach Levine out there with Patrick Williams. And it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Noah in at the center position. And for the Clippers, Powell and George are out on the wings. Mason Plumley out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Westbrook in at the one. There is nothing like the atmosphere of opening night in the NBA. Grant, do players get just as pumped up as the fans for the first game of the season? I think they do. I mean, everybody, players, coaches, organization, fans, everybody gets excited for opening night. It's impossible not to. All the work these players put in over the offseason, the training camp preparation, it pays off right here and now. Well, Patrick Beverly making use of the floater game, so important in today's NBA, particularly at his size. Now here's Powell. Pass to Morris. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Rose against Westbrook. Now here's Williams. Here's Noah. Five on the clock. Count it. What about Joe the Kim power Noah. and the strength? Go ahead, flex those muscles, Joe Kim. Noah, no one man is enough to stop you. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Powell finds Westbrook. Morris with it. Back to Westbrook. Oh, he tries a three. Second chance effort. And Morris with the lay-in. Well, at a healthy 235, Marcus Morris is pretty good at throwing his weight around, especially on the glass. 
Now here's Levine. 23 points his last outing. Here's Rose. And he makes it. And a superb job of creating just enough separation to hit the shot. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? Now here's Westbrook. Coming off a 12-point game. Powell passes to Plumley. George for three. Noah grabs the board. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Beverly against Powell. Back to Rose. And he lays it up and in. Rose has got his second basket of the game. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. For Chicago, they've gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. Pass to Noah. Back to Williams. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Ball. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. George passes to Powell. It's good. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. The Clippers have gone three of six from the floor. The ball's knocked loose. George outside. Shoots over Levine. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. And this game is tied up now. How about the dribble drive ability of Paul George? The quick handles for a guy his size. Outside Levine. And again, Chicago, no good. Westbrook against Williams. And the shot is good by Westbrook. Well, this guy has always been a fantastic finisher despite contact. Russell Westbrook working right there. Beverly outside. Here's Levine for three. Bulls keep it alive. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And it's so hard to stop the putback when you let him live at the rim like that. Boy, once he gets his hands on it around the rim, it's too late. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Here's Morris. After the basket by Chicago. Over Williams. It's rebounded by Levine. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And the basket is good. Well, this guy is a fighter. Patrick Beverly will not back down from contact. Rose against Westbrook. Pass to George. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Now Plumley. George outside, launches it. Offensive rebound. Powell outside. Westbrook with it. No good with a layup. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. From deep, Rose. Paul George pulls it in. The Clippers trail. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. 
Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And, and what a haul they got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner, and he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. Now here's Westbrook. Morris, left side, over Williams. Here's Plumley. Blocked! Well, Joe Kim Noah making his presence felt on the defensive end. Rose outside. Pass to Beverly. Williams with it. From deep, Rose. Goes back up. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams still looms large. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Batum comes in for Morris. Coffee, he's checked in for Powell. And it's Highland in for Westbrook. And a change for the Bulls. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Williams. It feels like once you get a taste of winning, you never want that to end, Grant. But the reality is, for most franchises, it does end for long periods of time. I hope the fans do appreciate this current Bulls team. There's something to be proud of. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. And checking the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. The Clippers third, the Bulls fourth. A stat every team wants to excel in, three-point shooting. Both of these teams were fantastic from deep last season. Pass to Batum. Levine with it, guarded now by George. And Levine throw it down. Well, most... the slam dunk contest. Levine has got a creative streak. Now George. Here's Coffee. Batum. Pass to George. Zubats with it. Just five on the clock. Down low to stop the run. And George with the jam. Well, we've always known Paul George can be a high flyer. Ooh, that was nicely done. Pass to Beverly. Here's Noah, guarded by Batum. Tries again. Uses the glass to drop it in. And the Bulls lead by 10. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Here's Coffee. Zubats with it. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Here's Highland. There's the three. 
Noah grabs the board. Outside Levine. Let's it go. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Pass to Highland. To the middle. Here's Batum. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal This guy's so clever at getting defenders to bite. Nicholas Batum draws the contact. Last year, the Clippers finishing eighth in the West. However, they missed the playoffs, Doris. Take a break. Right, Pierre. But keep in mind, they didn't have Kawhi for the entire season. No Paul George for most of the season. In fact, I thought Ty Lue did an incredible coaching job getting that team to the eighth spot. They just went on to lose two tough games in the play-in tournament. And he drops the first. One of the things I admire most about Nick Batum is how consistently he gives effort through 48 minutes. Plays with his head in the game and giving his all-out effort every play. Gordon, he's checked in for Paul George. Green's checked in for Chicago. The Sumu comes in for Rose. That one's no good. Boy, guys, it wasn't too long ago that the Los Angeles Clippers were the worst team in the league. But boy, have times changed. The Clippers are now an attractive organization for some stars. It's impossible to win when you give up second and third chances to score. Gordon with it. Green picks him up. Gordon, the pass to Zubats. Over Vucevic. Zubats shot is off. I mean, a true transformation of the Clippers. They were that team that stars avoided. They were, B.A., but I think that started to change back in 2011. The trade of CP3 to the Clippers, it started this new era. Then the ownership change helped it even further. And in one summer, let's remember, they signed both Kawhi and Paul George. Unreal transformation. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Coffee. Over Green. Here's Batum. And a nice finish on the layup. I well, love Nicholas Batum. Mixing it up, getting the offensive rebound put back. Nicely done. Outside, Green. And here is Vucevic. He's guarded by Zubats. Green against Gordon. And that one's good. Green. And the Bulls lead by 11. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Here's Highland. Pure from three-point range. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. 143 left in the opening quarter. Beverly, the pass to Green. Here's to Sumu. Here's Noah. He has seven. Clock at six. From deep. Another shot. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Well, Joe Kim Noah, the motor has always been a major part of his ability to be effective. And the Clippers making a change here. Covington's checked in. And the Bulls also making a change. Caruso, he's checked in for Beverly. I love about Joe Kim Noah is how fierce a competitor he has been throughout the course of his career. And he's an outstanding passer as well. Now here's Gordon. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Covington. Over to the wing. Here's Highland. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Green, the pass to Caruso. Back to Green. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. 
Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. Here's Highland. Six points for him. Gordon can't hit. 29 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Vucevic, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Here's Highland. And here's Gordon from the arc. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's Chicago going into the break up 12. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. And for the Clippers, they're shooting about 41% on the court for Chicago. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. Derrick Rose is out there with Alex Caruso. And it's Levine in at the small forward position. They get it back. Here's Powell. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How about the strength and explosive nature of Norman Powell? This guy excels at absorbing contact. First well, when you consider five. if you're trying to guard Norman Powell, the, the first thing you have to worry about, that quick first step. Norman and Powell. he uses that first Shooting step with a one. combination of aggression and acceleration. And boy, he can get by you in a hurry. That one falls for Powell. And you talk about Powell's athleticism. Doris, he is fearless on his drives to the bucket. I don't want to meet him at the cup, B.A., because he could put you on a poster fast. And on the other end of the floor, he's got the wingspan and athleticism to make any assignment something he is capable of handling. Rose with the bucket. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Morris outside. Pass to Covington from deep. Drains the triple. Covington's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Caruso outside. Levine with it. The three ball. It's rebounded by Morris. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And it's stolen by Rose. It's an even three on three break. Here's Williams. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. The Clippers making a switch here. Plumlee's checked in. White, he's checked in for Chicago. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. Now here's Rose. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sail. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. 
Pass to Plumley. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Kobe White picks one up. Do you give this guy an opportunity? And Norman Powell doesn't need a lot of encouragement. The defense a little late there, so he'll go to the charity stripe. Shooting two. That one falls for Powell. Well, the athletic Norman Powell continues to grow as an offensive player. Boy, this guy has got huge upside on the offensive end. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Morris for three. Chicago grabs the miss. The last time they came together was in Los Angeles, where they fell to the Clippers. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And there it is for him. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. The Clippers shooting around 41%. Plumley up top. Levine against George. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. George has got his third basket of the night. They've got some ground to make up, and shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Outside, Williams. Pass to Rose. Off the mark there with a three. The Clippers have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. in the second quarter just under three and a half minutes play pass to Powell Westbrook with it now guarded by White down to five on the shot clock Powell passes to Westbrook and with that one the deficit trimmed to single digits well you have to respect the physicality of Russell Westbrook this guy plays with power and he will go right through a defender now Rose outside Levine From downtown, Westbrook with the rebound. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Well, you can tell that Mr. Morris doesn't lack for confidence. This guy is ready to shoot as soon as it touches his hands. Pass to Levine. Outside White. Shot from the top of the key. Connects. The jumper drops. And the Bulls lead by eight. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Powell outside. Now George. He's covered by Levine. George against Levine. Clock is at three. Let's the three fly. George's shot is off. The Bulls have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. White against Powell. White can't hit. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. Rebound by the Clippers. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Westbrook, the pass to Plumley, 
And he was Ooh. fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. And for Paul George, Third playing team. close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever Shoot been a two. part of. And he makes a first. Boy, when we talk about those elite two-way threats, Paul George's name is certainly high on everyone's list. Beverly, he's checked in for White. George hits them both. And we know how dominant George can be on both ends of the floor doors. Well, consider he's a great scorer, a three-level scorer, and then he's able to guard perimeter and post players. That combination of size, length, athleticism, he continues to be a major threat in this league. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Out to Powell. Over to the left wing. Here's Plumley. Soft touch off the glass. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Outside Levine. Pass to Williams. Beverly outside. Let's it fly. The Bulls with another miss. The Clippers have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Morris passes to Plumley. Powell outside. Puts up a three. Sinks it from distance. Norman. And it's now just a one-point Bulls lead. Absolutely critical that Norman Powell expand his range. The more he makes that three, the more the floor opens up. Pass to Beverly. For three. On target from range. Beverly's got nine. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. George outside. Launches a three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Well, after hitting zero from distance in the first, that's his second make this quarter. Beverly outside. Out to Rose. Takes the three. Rebound by the Clippers. Plumlee's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Westbrook can't hit. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder, and it really cost him the bucket, guys. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Russell Westbrook. I tell you, one of these guys who just specializes in drawing contact from the defender. Derrick Rose always attacking. And that one falls for Rose. Well, an interesting thing about Derrick Rose, right? Over his career, he's been an up-and-down jump shooter. But he's been remarkably consistent from the free-throw line. And it's a completely new group for the Clippers. It's both from the stripe. Derrick Rose, to me, is a guy who everyone roots for now. The former MVP, think about how his career path was altered by injuries. But this story is one of perseverance. Pass to Highland. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Beverly outside. Green with the ball. Tipped. And he gets it back. Three-pointer Vucevic. That one no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Pass to Gordon from the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got seven rebounds in the game. And about Derrick Rose. 
How can you not respect the passion he has for this game, Norris? Almost unmatched, B.A. He's been with a few teams, and every time he gives everything he has to win it. This is not the ultra superstar that he was at the beginning of his career when he won that MVP, but he's still highly productive. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. Adjustments are a part of every game, in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. for Chicago. Bold substitution. Los Angeles has gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Pass to Gordon. Down low. And Zubats with the basket on the assist by Gordon. Zubats has got his first two points of the night. Here's the sumo. Back to Beverly. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Patrick Beverly is the kind of competitor every team wants. Gets himself a trip to the free throw line. Patrick Beverly shooting two. throw good from Beverly. Boy, Patrick Beverly, what a pleasure this guy is to watch. The level of competitiveness, the commitment to the defensive end. Man, he can raise the team. Both free throws good from Beverly. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Pass to Gordon. Here's Highland. Now Zubats. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for LA, he beats a Zubats. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops from Zubats. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. And the Bulls making a change here. Caruso is checked in. He's off on the second. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Pass to Desumu. Pulls it from 20. Yep, count it. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Two minutes easy. in the first half. Two minutes. 
Here's Highland. He's guarded by Caruso. Here's Coffey. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his third personal foul. Fifteen foul. At the line for LA, Amir Coffey to the line. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. This is about the last guy you want to send to the strike right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Pass to DeSumo. Back to Caruso. Here's DeSumo. Here's Noah. Ten points for him. And it's Green missing. Out to the wing. And out of bounds, know. the Bulls will Bulls take it. Ball. 121 left in the second quarter. To the inside, Caruso. Oh, oh a big finish with a one-handed jam. What pretty vision right there by Patrick Beverly. Wow. Here's Highland. Give him eight points now. The three. Noah grabs the board. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. And the basket oh. by DeSumo. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. There's 48 seconds left in the second. Here's Highland. Gordon on the wing. The three. Fires in the triple. They're making a few more threes this quarter, trying to cut into that deficit. Green, the pass to Beverly. Caruso with it. Pass to Green. Shot clock at six. The Bulls need to get off a shot. And the shot goes in. He's got 12. Listen, we know Joe Kim Noah, one of the more unselfish guys in this league, but tonight getting his own. Here's Highland. He got it up. And that's not going to go. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Bulls leading by five. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny, and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Joe Kim Noah has been having a big night. He had 12 points, 11 rebounds, and one block. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well, I love the way they're pushing the tempo, beating the defense down the floor, filling the lanes, finishing with authority early, getting to the rim, and finishing hard. And Shaq, your take on the Clippers? This kind of defense won't cut it. You have to get yourself in position to contest shots. This means making the right reads and putting forth the effort. They've done neither, and the opponent is taking advantage. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. 